Namaste. Hi everyone. This is Michelle with MichelleVakili.com and Living Well with Michelle. I am your ultimate weight loss, whole food, plant-based nutrition educator and yoga and fitness instructor. So today we'll be focusing on the Ashtanga primary uh, seated poses. Okay, so seated postures. We'll do a few sun salutations to get warmed up, but then we'll just be focusing on the seated postures, and you can do a vinyasa between if you like. I'll show you the options. And we'll end with Navasana and then a modified, not our uh, typical Ashtanga closing series, but a modified series since we're only doing a shortened version of the seated postures, which is a really nice stretching and twisting series. So let's get warmed up and hopefully you'll see me in the full frame of this. So let's do it. So we're going to stand and start with some sali sun salutations. Sun salutation A. Inhale, raise your arms up, and exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, look forward, and exhale. Stepping back, lower down through Chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking five breaths here. Inhale, look forward, and exhale, fold into a forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, Samasthiti. to heat. We're going to do two more like that. I'll count in Sanskrit. Ekam, inhale, Dwe, exhale, Trini, inhale, Chetuare, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale, step to the top of the mat, look forward, and ashto, exhale. Inhale, nawa, exhale, samasitihi. Last sun salutation, A. Ekam, inhale, dwe, exhale. Trini, inhale, chetuare, Exhale. Pancha. Inhale. Shot. Exhale. Five breaths. Septa, inhale, ashto, exhale. Nawa, inhale, exhale, samasthi tihi. We're going to do three sun salutation Bs now. Ekam, inhale, dwe, exhale. Chini, inhale. Chetuare, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Septa, step your right foot forward. Inhale. Ashto, exhale. Nawa, inhale. Chetuare, exhale. Oh, <laughs> that was supposed to be to shot. Ekadasha, or left foot forward, inhale. Dwadasha, exhale. 
Chayodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale. Now five breaths. One. Two. Anshadasha, inhale. And Shodasha, exhale. Saptadasha, inhale. Exhale. Sonasi, take it. All right, two more times. Inhale, bend the knees, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, step or hop back to Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, down, downward facing up. Uh, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. One. Two, three, four, five. Inhale, hop or step to the front of the mat, look forward, and exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, reach your arms up, and exhale. Samasthiti. to you. All right, one more time. So in salutation B. Egum, inhale. Due, exhale. Trini, inhale. Chetuare, exhale. Pancha, inhale. Shat, exhale. Septa, right foot forward, inhale. Ashto, exhale. Nawa, inhale. Dusha, exhale. Ekadasha, left foot forward, inhale. Dwadasha, exhale. Chayodasha, inhale. Chaturdasha, exhale. Five breaths. One. Chaturdasha, inhale. Step or hop to the front of the mat. Look forward. Shoulder shot. Exhale. Septal shot. Inhale. And exhale. Samasthiti. All right, we're going to come to the seated postures now. So to get there, we'll move through a sun salutation. Akam. Inhale. Dwe. Exhale. Trini. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. All right. Inhale. So just come through to a seated position. Stretch your legs out. This is known as a Dandasana or staff pose. Hands on either side of the hips. Straight spine. Active legs, breathing, one, five breaths.
Paschimottanasana. If you can, take your index and middle finger and catch your big toes. Take an inhale and exhale. Hold. One. Five breaths. Inhale, straighten your arms, exhale, take your deepest grip, inhale, and exhale. Another forward fold, Pashimottanasana. Soften through the elbows. Inhale, straighten the arms, exhale, stay. Good. And you're going to try to cross, cross your legs near the ankles or at the shins. And then inhale, try to lift up and step back or hop back to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come through, and this is known as Parsvottanasana. Take your hands about a foot behind your hips. You can bend your knees if you need to or keep the legs straight, and then it's basically a reverse plank. Inhale, lift up, try to point your toes to the floor, five breaths. Now this is where if you're new or you get tired, no problem. You don't have to do the vinyasas. Cross lift your feet. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale. I'm gonna put a rug down. I like to put, um, a, maybe you have a towel or something else that you like to put on your mat. I like to put a rug down during my seated postures. It's called a Mysore rug or just a yoga rug or yoga towel. Alrighty. So coming back down. This is called Ardha Bada Paschimottanasana. I'm going to take my right foot into half lotus. If I can reach around with my right hand to catch my right big toes, my left hand catches the outside of my left foot. Take a breath and exhale. Full. Try to bring your nose or your chin down to your leg. Five breaths. Inhale. Again, you can skip the vinyasa if you want. Otherwise, try to inhale and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Second side, left side now. Take into half lotus. And reach around. Try to catch my left big toes, right edge of the foot, and exhale. Take a breath here, five breaths. Inhale, exhale, stay, release. Once again, the vinyasa if you choose. Trianga Muga Ek Ekapara Pashimotanasana. Inhale, step forward. And you're going to slide, if you can, your right leg, bend at the knee, right heel close to your right hip. Straighten your left leg. Take your deepest grip that you can. And exhale, fold. Five breaths here. Really press into the right top of your foot. Keeping the hip down. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing. 
Inhale, cross lift if you choose. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, exhale. Second side, inhale, coming through. Left leg goes back this time. Okay. Take your deepest grip. And exhale. Count your breaths. Five. If you, again, the vinyasas are optional. I'll be doing them, but you do not have to do them. And maybe I will pause and also say I'll skip a vinyasa. But for now, inhale. Ooh, my towel is getting all bunched up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. Janya Shirshasana. A. Inhale. Come through. Gonna keep the left leg straight, right knee bends, keeping that right knee at a 90 degree angle with the hip. Left leg is in line with your hip, stretched forward, straight leg, take your deepest grip, and exhale, fold. Five breaths. Inhale, exhale, stay, release, inhale, lift, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Second side, Janya Shirshasana A. Keeping bending left knee at a 90 degree angle. Right leg is straight. And exhale, fold. Five breaths. Release. Cross lift. Inhale. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Janu Shirshasana B. Inhale, come through. Stretch your left leg out. You're going to sit on your right heel somewhere between your number one and number two. Your right knee is at about an 85 degree angle. Take your deepest grip around your left foot and exhale, fold. Vinyasa, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, second side, sitting on that left heel now, if you need to use a strap, you can do that, otherwise take your deepest grip around that right foot, and exhale, fold, soften through the shoulders, five breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, exhale, Janya Shirshasana C, last one in this, Janya Shirshasana. Now for this, you're going to take your right foot Turn your heel up, toes down, sometimes called breaking of the toes, and try to bring your knee down. Line your, as much as you can, your right heel in line with your navel. Try to take your deepest grip around that left leg and exhale, fold. 
five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, release. side. Inhale. Straighten your right leg this time. Left heel up, left toes down. Keep that right leg in line with the hips stretched out. Take your deepest grip and X. Here, let me show you <laughs> that leg stretched out. And fold into the position the best you can. Doesn't matter how far you go, just give it your best effort and be able to breathe. Inhale, lift, exhale, stay, and release. Good. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, come through to a seated position. Marichanasana A. Bend your right knee and your right foot in line with your right hip. Stretch your left leg out. Bring your right arm to the inside of the right uh, lower leg. Try to clasp the hands together or catch your left wrist. And exhale, fold. Five breaths. Inhale, head up. Exhale, stay. Releasing. Taking the vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, second side. So I said there's a lot of vinyasas, right? So you feel free to skip them if you like. Let's take that rack around that left lower leg, catching your right wrist or fingertips if you can. If not, just use a strap and fold. Five breaths here. Nose or chin forward if you can. Try to lift yourself up and step or hop back. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale. Marjanasana B. Come through to a seated position. Now if you can, take your left foot into half lotus. If not, you can always just bring it underneath your right thigh. Okay? And we're going to bend our right knee in, heel close to that right hip. Try to bring your left knee down, wrap that right arm to the inside of the right lower leg. Catch your left wrist if you can, or fingertips, or use a stretch and strap. Exhale, fold, nose down or chin forward. High breath. Inhale, head up. Exhale, stay. Now, if you're going to skip the vinyasa, I would say skip it here and then do it between each side, okay? Separate um, the two different sides after we finish this. So if we were to skip, I would just maybe, I would just maybe try to lift and then come down. And then I'll show you this way so you can see, taking my left foot now into lotus. Uh, I'm sorry, my right foot into half lotus, okay? And then I'm going to bend my left knee in, wrapping my left arm around my left leg, 
reaching around with my right, squaring my shoulders, either bringing my forehead or nose down, or my chin forward. Five breaths. Inhale, head up, exhale, stay, releasing. If you're doing the vinyasa with me, inhale and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Inhale, come through, Marichanasana C, so this starts getting into our twist. I'm going to bend that right knee like Marichanasana A and try to bring that left armpit or shoulder as close as you can to the outside of your right leg. If not, you can just stay right here. Otherwise, we're going to try to wrap, bending at the elbow, bringing our right arm around, catching your right wrist or fingertips or again, using a strap. Turn the head to the side. Parshva drishti, side drishti. Activate that left leg. Remember, always five breaths, or usually. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, release. You can skip the vinyasa here if you like, or taking it with me. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right, my yoga mat's on my carpet, so sometimes it seems to shift forward. I'm just pulling it back a little. All right, from down dog. Inhale, come through. Marichanasana B. So I'll just show you from this side. Bending that left knee, keeping my right leg stretched out. Oh, actually, I should show you from here so you can see the clasp. All right, behind. And then again, I'm trying to twist as much as I can. Bending my right arm at the elbow, reach around, catching my left wrist, if that's possible for you. It took me a while to get there, five breaths here. This takes practice, consistent practice, but you do what you can. Any movement is better than none, friends. Release, vinyasa if you choose. Inhale, lift, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. All right. Last Marichanasana. Inhale, come through. So this Marichanasana is going to look like Marichanasana B as far as the setup. If you can, bring your left foot into half lotus, or you can always bring it underneath that right uh, thigh or bum area. All right. Bending the right knee. Again, this is a deep twist. Deepest twist in all of primary series. So, maybe just staying here, right, is totally fine. Otherwise, we're going to bend that left elbow. Reach around. Try to catch the fingertips. Use a strap. Hold on to clothing. Or catch that right wrist. Try to bring that left knee down. Parshva, Parshva Drishti, Sai Drishti. Pull your shoulders down and breathe. A little smile. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. And exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, come through. Last marching asana, almost done with seated postures here. Bending that 
right knee now into half lotus or underneath your left leg. Finding your twist, remember, this is perfectly fine, getting into that twist. Otherwise, bending your right elbow, reaching around with that left arm, pull down on that left shoulder, and side drishti, side breath. Inhale, exhale, release, good, inhale, lift, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing, inhale, come through, and right into Navasana, boat pose. Arms in line with the shoulders. One, firm thighs. Strong back and pull the belly in. Active breath. Inhale, cross lift. Try to lift up. Lolasana, Navasana two. We've got five of them here. Breathe. Strong arms, pull your shoulders down. Inhale, lift, and now Vasana three. Good, strong, strong that you are. Activate those thighs. Good, inhale, lift, and Vasana four. You're almost there, almost there. Cross lift, little asana. One more time, Navasana five. Make it your best one. Or do more if you like. We love these. And inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale. Come through to a seated position. Congratulations. That was the seated postures. And we'll add on to that. So lie on down. We'll do a modified closing sequence here. Okay, I'm going to shimmy myself up so you can see me. As I bend my knees into our bridge pose, arms down by your sides, tilt your hips and lift them up. Think of lifting the hips up, knees squeezing forward and slightly towards one another. High breaths here. Think of the chest lifting up, lengthening through the tailbone. And exhale, slowly melt, upper back, mid back, low back, all the way down. Variation, bend the elbows. Palms face each other and lift hips, ribs, chest, press down through the upper arms. Keep lifting your chest up and back, knees reaching forward, knees gently squeezing together. And slowly lower, rolling down through upper spine, mid spine. Low back, okay. Another variation, or you could just stay with what we did for the first one. And as you tilt your hips, lifting them up, chest up, ribs up, knees gently squeeze together. You can interlace your hands underneath you and walk your shoulders in, lifting up, lengthening through the tail. Opening up the front body, lengthening and strengthening the back body. Good. And untucking the shoulders, really, really articulating down through the spine. Good. Give yourself a little hug, a gentle rock side to side. Gently roll over to one side. 
Let's take a seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. You can use your strap if you like. Gently folding forward, but lengthen. I want you to think of lengthening your chest forward, taking your grip where you can, and soften through your shoulders, slowing down your breath. going to walk over here and get a block in the event that some of you want to take a variation. So I'm going to offer two things. If you don't have a block, you can always use a towel, a pillow, or just bring your legs up against a wall. If you'd like to take more of a restorative shoulder stand, put the block underneath the sacrum, somewhere between your bottom and your low back, all right? That flat part of the spine. You could stay here, it feels really nice, or you could lift your legs up for a supported L uh, shape here or supported shoulder stand. Really, really um, uh, wonderful for our immune boosting, strengthening, reverse blood flow. Those of you that wanna take a little bit more active uh, approach, we could take Salambasa Sarangasana shoulder stand. So inhale, lift your legs up, walk your hands up toward your mid-back if you can, pull the navel in, the bandhas, mula bandha, odiyana bandha, the place between the navel and the pubic bone, lift through the hips, the lower back, And halasana if you choose, lowering the legs down, keeping your hips lifted. Hands can stay on your back for support or releasing, engage your thighs. Keep lifting your hips up, keep engaging. Mula bandha, Uddiyana bandha, your place between the navel and the pubic bone. And so if you feel like, if you wanna bend your knee in, Work your ear. Karnakandasana. And then slowly rolling down. You can keep your hands on your back for support. Those that have the block underneath you, lift your hips up and release that block. Take a moment here, gently pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side, or circle the knees in one direction, and then the other. If you'd like, bring your hands underneath your thighs, open the legs out. Good. If you'd like to take a happy baby, you can do that. You can take an outside hand grip of the feet or inside, whichever you like. Maybe you gently like to rock. Try to keep your hips down. Maybe you like to take a wide straddle. Whatever feels good for you. If you'd like to take a Baddha Kanasana, bring the soles of the feet together or releasing them. Hands gently resting on your inner thighs or hips, creases, and gently pull the knees back into the chest, extend your right leg, a uh, left leg, excuse me, hug your right knee in, release your right arm, and let's bring that right knee across the body for a spinal twist. And come back to center. Hug the left knee in as the right leg extends, releasing the left arm, and taking our twist here. So good for the back and the internal organs, twisting. 
come back through center. Hug that left knee in, right knee in. Pull them down towards your chest, tuck the chin. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Squeeze everything together. One, two, three, four, five. And release. Take your final rest here. You deserve it. Well deserved. Please stay in final rest at least five to ten minutes. Take as much time as you need. That's the most important part of our yoga session and most of what we're leading up to, to find that rest, to connect all the work that you've done. Thank you for joining me in the seated series of Ashtanga Primary. We'll be adding on because there's more to come. Have a wonderful, great day. And know that you can always use modifications, blocks, straps, and just do what you're able to do. No judgment. That's the hardest part of letting go. And that's where the real yoga is. So this is Yogi Michelle, and I wish and bless you for the rest of the day and beyond. Namaste.